Oh, Disney World, a place that is near and dear to my heart and is literally the most magical place on earth. From the pin trading to the food, I love everything about it there. Over the past few months, Disney has revealed they will be expanding Disneyland and Hollywood Studios to encompass a all new themed land surrounding Star Wars. But it will be difficult to top the already amazing Star Wars centric ride, Star Tours. Today's Seekers of the Force video is all about Star Tours and its relation to Star Wars canon. Star Tours first appeared in Disneyland in 1987 and originally only featured one tour that brought you around the galaxy in hopes to landing on the forest moon of Endor. Currently, Star Tours randomly generates different versions of the ride and there are a total of 54 different experiences and there are also a variety of different locations manifesting in the ride including Jakku, Coruscant, Naboo, Tatooine, Hoth, Kashyyyk, Geonosis, and the first Death Star. Since the debut of the original ride, Star Tours has appeared in both Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, making some of the aspects of the ride canon in the Star Wars universe. During the Clone Wars TV show, there are a number of times Star Tours ads appear in the background of multiple episodes. In Star Wars Rebels, the crew of the Ghost takes a Star Tours shuttle to gain intel to apprehend Imperial weaponry. In addition to Star Tours itself being canon, the original pilot of the ride, which was an RX series droid named RX-24, or Rex, is canon. Rex is the pilot in the Star Wars Rebels episode that features Star Tours. The RX series of droids were pilots and were recognized for their perky and talkative behavior. RX droids were created by the industrial automation company, who also created droids like the R2 series. In the canon of Star Wars, the RX droids are seen flying Star Commuter 2000s, which held 24 passengers roughly. But the original non-canon ship flown in the ride is the Star Speeder 1000 or 3000, which both held up to 40 passengers. From this point forward in this episode, this will only be part of the legends of Star Wars, meaning this is not official Star Wars history. To begin, the Star Wars Travel Agency was known to exist as far back as the Clone Wars, so around 22 BBY. At that point in their history, the company only traveled to the water world of Glee Anselm and was located in the Mid Rim. By around 1 or 0 BBY, the tour company expanded its business rapidly, even building a station in the Earth system. Star Tours was part of the Galactic Tourist Bureau, which organized travel for Star Tours. Air Alderaan, Bespin Direct, Dantooine Express, Naboo Space Lines, and the Tatooine Transit. The Interstellar Travel Agency had two locations in the Earth system, Spaceport THX-1138 and the Tomorrowland Starport. To assist Star Tours launch in the Earth system, Captain Antilles sent C-3PO and R2-D2 to the new ports. After the Battle of Endor, Star Tours hoped to capitalize on the Endor system's newfound fame and declared they would provide convenient daily departures to the exotic moon of Endor. Pilot RX-24 failed to travel to the moon of Endor on one occasion and accidentally raced past it to a battle between the New Republic and the remnants of the Empire where they fought above the third Death Star. Thank you so much for watching this video on Star Tours. It was actually one of my favorite videos to make so far, so if you enjoyed, then please like and subscribe to Watso videos. I am always looking for more ideas for my series, The Secrets of the Force, which I produce every Sunday. So if you have an idea or a question you would like answered in a video, then leave your thoughts in the comments section. Now it is time for the trivia question of the week. Last week's question was, in Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, what was Luke's lightsaber color originally supposed to be? The correct answer is B, blue. In the actual movie, Luke's lightsaber is green because they thought it would look better against the blue skies of Tatooine. This week's question is, what is the sector Senator Amidala represents in the Galactic Senate? A, the Alderaan Sector, B, the Naboo Sector, C, the Coruscant Sector, or D, the Chamul Sector? 
If you think you know the answer, then please place your guess in the comments section. If you are interested in following me after you subscribe to my channel, you can do so through Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, and you can find the links to those places in the description. Thank you for watching, may the force be with you.